Hey guys, welcome to the workshop. In today's video, I wanted to show you really quick how to make a big circle cut using a router. Now you can actually choose to use a jigsaw for this and it would work, but your mark is gonna be not a perfect circle. It's gonna be really rough. You're gonna have to do a lot more sanding afterwards. So if you have a router, you can put a half inch router bit that is called a spiral bit or is called an upcut bit and it's like a drill blade, but it cuts. If you use that in a router, it'll actually work really well. Well, let me show you the jig that you're gonna to need to make to do this. I've already made mine and it's uh, ready to go for what I'm going to cut. But to show you, I'm going to do a new one on here and explain to you how I came up with this. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is take the base plate off of the router. And most routers already have this base plate. If you don't, you could actually just set the router on here and do the same thing here with tracing it out. But take your pencil, trace this circle out, and then trace all of these screw holes out. Once you have that, we can determine the exact center by just lining up a ruler with the screws, holes that is, and just making little marks that will all intersect right at the center. Now we're going to want to extend that center line out. And if you are making, say, a 20 inch circle, you'll want to measure this measurement at 10 inches. So we're going to do that for example. Now, whatever size bit you're using, I am using quarter inch, you're going to want to have a quarter inch circle here. And then you're going to want to measure off the edge of that circle out half the distance of, your, of the diameter that you're cutting and make a little line. And then this is essentially what you got. We have our center bit here and then we have the center here. We're going to want to drill this hole out for a screw to go in and then we're going to use this as where the router and I'll show you how this works right now. Okay, so what I've done now is I've taken the template drilled the holes out where the screws go and put my two screws my screws in it. I have only two. And then the router bit, you just don't want to protrude it too much. I'm only starting off with something as a really light pass. I'm only going to let it protrude out maybe a quarter inch because I just want to make sure this is smooth and it's going to work good. And then once that is established, we'll be set to go for the rest. So for this center screw, I've used one with a a smooth shank on it and then two washers just to keep the uh, keep this from binding up too much. And I'm just going to center that on my hole. Screw that in place. Okay. And now to cut it. And with every pass I make, I'm going to increase the depth of my cut. Okay, so it's all done. Now what I did is I took that board and I trimmed it down a little bit. I did some nice sanding on it and I took the screw and what I did is I took my ruler and marked off every space. And what I did on the top was the space that's from the router bit to the screw hole. But the bottom number is the size that the hole is going to actually be or the big circle is going to be once it's cut. Um, something like this I can use many times over. I didn't go drilling all the holes yet because I may never use a hole and if I have all these holes in here it might get a little weak over time. So as I need it I'll make a new hole in it 
and put the screw in. Just be sure to use a screw that's got the same shaft as the hole because if there's any wiggle room in there, you're going to end up with a little bit of a wonky uh, circle. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel because on this channel I do a lot of things like this. I do a lot of DIY, I do a lot of projects, and I do a lot of tips. So if you like any of those things, click the subscribe button and a little bell icon to be notified of every new video. And like I always say in my workshop, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you next time right here.